Hey guys, what is what is this? That's not a wave. That's just a hand. Hey guys, this is Quivis. I've recently been getting some messages from you guys asking about production advice. So with regards to lights, miking, mixing, I've basically taught myself everything that I know about production using the internet and lots and lots of practice. And so I thought it would be really cool to start sharing some of that, guys. I thought it would be really cool to start sharing some of that uh, knowledge and experience with you guys via some YouTube videos. So this first video is kind of just gonna be a little bit of a tester. Like I wanna just do something really simple and really quick uh, to see if you guys like this format, to see if this maybe helps you a little bit. And so I just thought I would do a video on lights first and foremost. I feel like the biggest thing that has the quickest, biggest effect on production value, how good your videos look is just using like proper lights. Makes a huge difference. For example, the difference between this right now, and this. Let's be honest with ourselves, this looks kind of poop right now. It's like, I'm too dark, but now I'm kind of blown out. Look a little bit like Edward Cullen right now. Vampire vibes, but this looks so much better just because I'm using lights. So no color correction, no extra settings, literally just changing out the lights. So I feel like if you want to improve the quality of your videos, the quickest way to do that is literally just to get some localized lights. Okay, so about lights. I just want to talk about three things really quickly. The biggest reason why I wanted this to be quick is because this camera is getting really heavy. So the three most basic things I can think of with regards to lights is why I use lights in the first place, why I use certain camera settings, and also why I shoot underexposed versus overexposed. First up, why use lights? Well, basically, you can't film without light, right? So you're gonna have some source of light. It's gonna be maybe the lights in the ceiling, but to be honest, room lighting, such as lights in the ceiling, are designed for exactly that purpose, to light the whole room. And there's no subject, there's no center, there's no focus. And so the moment you put some kind of localized light on you, um, it immediately kind of tells your brain or tells the viewer rather where to look. Um, it's, it's subliminal, you don't even really have to think about it. The things you're looking at right now are probably my face, the snare drum, that racked on because these are the three most well-lit things in the shot. Basically, the more focus you can get on the subject matter, the better it is for the viewer. In terms of the lights that I use, I just use four soft boxes, four PBL 24 by 24 inch soft boxes, I believe. They're elevated pretty high above the kit. They're usually the same distance from me on the four corners of my drum rug. I also use a fifth light, which is a desk lamp or a bed lamp, to be perfectly honest with you. I just, I just use that for the foot cam, but it's literally just a bed lamp. The bulbs I use are 85 watt fluorescent bulbs. They are 5500 Kelvin, I believe, which is daylight. I think that works especially well with the GoPros because GoPros are usually made to film in daylight. Okay, in terms of cameras, I use GoPro Hero 3 Plus cameras. They're pretty old, got them in 2014, I believe. With all of the cameras, I use ProTune. Now that's like a, um, Basically a function of the GoPro camera is it gives you a higher data rate, so it records in a da higher data rate, and it also gives you more control. So I've used that basically since the beginning to control things like white balance and exposure. Now both those things are locked, so I lock the, the white balance on 5500 Kelvin, and I also lock the exposure. There's like a different kind of exposure on each camera because some are pointing directly into lights, where, whereas other ones are just, there's no lights in the shot, it's just myself. But I shoot at 60 frames a second, 1080p on 64 gigabyte micro SD cards and that kind of setup with the GoPros works really well um, for what I'm doing here. And then lastly, thank goodness, because this camera is so heavy, uh, the reason why I shoot underexposed. This is probably the biggest thing for me uh, in this video. The reason why I shoot underexposed rather than overexposed is because I have many reflective surfaces on the kit, such as symbols, and also because I have a black background. And also because my lights are so close to the kit, I want as much light on myself as possible because I'm the subject matter. Why does that feel so awkward to say? I'm the subject matter. Feels really arrogant. Um, but I'm filming myself and so I'm the subject matter. So I want the lights as close to me as possible so I can isolate myself from the background. If uh, the lights are too close to the symbols and if I don't shoot underexposed, then often the symbols are blown out. So if something is blown out, you can never get that information back. So basically if there's a white overexposed section on the symbol, there's no amount of color correction, basically, that can get that to be not white, if you hear what I'm saying. Like, I can never get that information back. Whereas if I shoot slightly underexposed, I have all of that information to work with, and with a little bit of, like, maybe boosting the gamma, working with contrast and brightness a little bit, I can get the dynamic range to be a bit more even, so that the symbols pop, but also the subject matter, which is me, still feels arrogant to say that, so the subject matter is a little bit more even in the shot. 
Gosh, you guys, there's so many other things I could discuss. I, I feel like I wanted to keep this short, but I maybe went into more detail than I wanted to. This video is already super long. There's so many little details that I've picked up and learned over the past 12 years of making drumming videos. So if you guys want to see more of that, please let me know below. If this was super boring and you didn't enjoy it at all, also let me know so I don't make more of these videos. But um, regardless, thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoy these tips, if they, they help you make better videos, Send me a link, I would love to check it out. I appreciate your attention so much and I'll talk to you guys soon. You guys, I just wanna thank Skillshare for making this video possible. And I'm actually really excited about this because as most of you guys probably know, um, when I started my channel 12 years ago on YouTube, I taught myself basically everything that I know about lighting, camera angles, editing, mixing, audio production, miking techniques, all of that I taught myself using Google and using the internet. And the awesome thing about Skillshare is that they basically took that concept and they streamlined it and perfected it and put everything in one place. And they made it so simple for people who want to learn to be able to learn. So the basic gist of it is that Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on tons of topics. These are fully fledged classes presented by uh, some of the best people in the field. So for example, I suck at photography. I'm not the best at photography. I think I have kind of a good eye, but I don't really know the technical aspects of shooting photos. So I took this class on photography presented by, I think her name was Amy Vit Vitali, Vital. Not sure, she's very friendly, she's very knowledgeable. I took the class and the rad thing is that this is just one of so many courses on the website. So basically what I'm saying is keep an eye on my Instagram profile because it's about to suck a whole lot less. And the way that it works is if you're a premium member of Skillshare, you get access to the whole website. So with premium membership, there's no limit on the amount of classes you can take. Skillshare hooked me up with 500 free subscriptions for two months. So if you click on the link, I mean, if you're interested, no pressure, but probably click on it sooner rather than later because 500 is not a ton. But if you're interested at all, definitely check out the website by clicking on the link. Sign up for two months for free. And you guys know me, like I wouldn't pitch something if I didn't believe that it was good value for money and if I didn't believe that I was giving you good advice. So I'm just super thankful to be working with them. I think it's an awesome company. Like I said, link in the description. First 500 people get two months for free. As always, you guys are awesome. I don't take your attention for granted. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially up until the very end. Please check out Skillshare. Like I said, they made this video possible. Um, I would love it if you guys could support the companies that support me. That would mean the world to me. Love you guys. Thankful for you guys. And I'll talk to you soon.